Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. A very big split is emerging in the government over the finance bill 2023 and on how William Ruto is distributing government jobs across the country. In this video, I want us to listen to Bungoma Senator, a very close Moses Masika with Angulas ally. The Senator made some remarks about two days ago, remarks that I know are causing serious concerns in the government. Listen to this before we continue. Wa county ya Jambo la pili na nikimalizia I have been very clear Kwa mambo ya ushuru I am in government I support William Ruto But on terms of Kutoza ushuru kwa watu wa Kenya I have been very clear I don't support that I am a teacher by profession Kuna walimu hapa dada za vitalis Walimu anaenda nyumbani na pay slip ya 2,000 shillings at the end of the month. Amechukua leo na mejenga nyumba. Polisi ukiangalia nyumba yake imepiga magoti. Na tunasema kwamba wanachanga kujenga nyumba. I want to advise my president. I love you very much. But the people on the ground are crying. They are sobbing. They are mourning. They are asking nani atasimama kwa pengo kwa niyapa yetu. Mimi wafula wakoli, senator wa county ya Bungoma, naambia mwishimu wa president. Ngoja kidogo, watu waweke pesa mfukoni, alafu mambo ingine tutatua badai. Tunatembea pamoja? Mambo mengine kwa serikali mmesema mambo ya chirchir, kiprotiji na whatever. I agree with you very completely. Tuna resume on Tuesday sessions of senate. Kazi zimetangazo za KPLC, kazi zimetangazo za Kenjen, and I want to raise that motion on the floor of the house. Walete majina ya watu wa meandikuwa Kenya Power, watu wa meandikuwa Kenjen. Kama hakuna wanyonyo, na humicha, na ajala. We will revoke that list because our people have a right. And our people are not children of a lesser God. Tunasema ukweli ya matusemi ukweli. Mimi nataka tutembe pamoja. Papa Roma ni speaker pale ju, yeye ni prefect ya kinadidi mazuku. Mimi ni niko senate, pia mina inga njasi, ni kitetea watu wangu wa kongo. Yes. That's a Kenya Kwanza senator, a Ford Kenya senator, and a close ally of Wetangula. And from his remarks, he's making it very clear that on finance bill, He's not reading from the same page with the government. And then he goes on to talk about the tribalism and the nepotism in the appointments, or rather in the way government jobs are being distributed. Whether he's playing to the gallery, that's a story for another day. But from what he is saying to the public, He's not happy with what is happening in the government. Tribal appointments only going to one region, to the colleges. Finance bill is most definitely going to hurt the so-called hustlers. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? The first possible meaning to those sentiments I'm seeing a senator who is just trying to please the ground. Across the country, Kenyans are not happy with William Ruto's government on how the government is implementing some policies. So a smart leader should be siding with the people. I believe that a smart politician instead of taking sides with the government, take the side of the people. Because I'm very sure that if the people rejects you, then even that government will not see your value. 
you must first of all please your people before you please the government. So I won't be wrong to conclude that the Bungoma senator must have studied the ground in Bungoma. He knows that a good majority of Bungoma residents do not approve of that bill. So he's trying to please them and that's why he's coming out in public. And the senator's remarks in one way or the other might also be the feeling among many leaders or rather most of the leaders supporting William Ruto. It's only that they're not brave to come out to distance themselves from that bill because they know that if they do that, they'll be in the bad books with William Samoy Ruto. So in a nutshell, they are cowards who are just trying to please William Samoy Ruto at the expense of the people. And from where I stand, or rather where I sit, Kenyans should demand to know the stand of their elected leaders on the finance bill. And let me say this to Kenyans, any elected leader who will support the finance bill, irrespective of what the leader will do on the ground, that's a leader who should be rejected at the ballot. The finance bill is literally going to make life very hard for a hoping majority of Kenyans. Any leader supporting that bill should be rejected. Kenyans should demand to know the stand of their elected leaders on the finance bill. And already we have seen some making their stands known in public, such as such leaders such as Osoro, South Mugirango member of parliament. Osoro is on record making it very clear that he'll make sure the bill is passed in parliament. We have seen Nandi Senator. We have seen Bon Aluale. Kenyans should mark these leaders. Kenyans should know that they have a lot of power to deal with these rogue leaders. The finance bill will make life unbearable for Kenyans. From those sentiments again, I'm seeing a possible mama between Ruto and maybe for Kenya, or in this case, Moses Masika Wetangula. It might be possible because politics is never a straight line. The Bungoma senator, a very close Wetangula ally, might just be speaking Wetangula's language. The only problem is that Wetangula is not brave enough to actually come out <laughs> To make his stand known. The senator might just be exposing what Moses Masika Wetangula also feels. But now the challenge is this. If Wetangula will oversee a parliament that will pass the finance bill 2023, then Moses Masika Wetangula will also be part of that oppression. And Kenyans should not be lenient with Moses Masika Wetangula, with Musale Mudavadi, or with any government official in William Ruto's government. They will have collectively endorsed the bill. I know if Wetangula never wanted that bill, then he should be brave enough to actually come out in public for Kenyans to know his stand. But his silence means that he's afraid he's a coward. He's just interested in his personal gains as a speaker, but not something that is going to benefit Kenyans. And also the senators talked about tribal appointments. Bungoma is the only lawyer county that supported William Ruto. And I know the residents of Bungoma might be regretting for having voted for William Ruto. 
Ruto cheated them, lied to them. Appointments are only going to the Kalenji nation. I'm very sure that in the event Raila Odinga could have taken power, then we could have seen so many appointments going even to Bungoma. But in William Ruto's government, appointments are only going to the college in Rift Valley. I'm seeing a very high possibility where the resi where residents of Bungoma might also be, be regretting having voted in William Ruto. And I'm saying that because we have also seen that even in William Ruto's own Kalenjin backyard, his people are complaining that he has abandoned, abandoned them. On the mountain, people are complaining. So basically, all those who supported Ruto, they are bitter and angry with him. He is not doing what he did promise to the people. So Ruto, you know, in a nutshell, has just should change the people. As I conclude, those remarks also goes on to confirm that as time goes by, the elected leader supporting William Ruto, and this is a point I've been repeating in most of my videos, they will find the ground very hostile to them. The ones we saw crossing over, they are, they, in fact, they are, <laughs> they are standing between a rock and a very hard place. Their areas are predominantly against William Ruto's axis. So they'll have to work extra hard. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. If you want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Thank you. God bless you.